Hello, and welcome to Crazy Danish Hacker. Today, we're going to look into identifying GSM signals in Linux, because we will need to do that for our GSM sniffing tutorials. I've created a new virtual machine, Kali 32-bit, and we will use that as our work in progress, because then we will do it from scratch, and you will be able to follow the exact steps that I made to do the same thing. All you need is Kali Linux, 32-bit, and an RTL SDR. You can use a real SDR, which is Software Defined Radio, but those can be quite expensive, so maybe just stick with an RTL SDR for now. An RTL is real tech. So now that the virtual machine has booted up, we can log in with root and tor. And wait a few moments. And open a terminal. See if we got an IP address. Yes, we do. Ping Google's name server. We got internet. And the first thing we will do is that we will update our list of packets from the repository because we need this to uh, to download new packets or new packages. So now that that's done, we can install the first tool that we will need, which is GQRX. GQRX. Yep. We will need quite a bit, 80 megabytes and then 356 megabytes of space on the hard disk after the uh, packages have been extracted and installed. Depending on your internet connection, this could take a little while, but 80 megabytes is not that much with most providers these days. So you should be good, even though we will need to install more libraries and more stuff for our additional tools that we will need when we go into the more hardcore stuff. So now it has finished downloading all the packages and now it just needs to automatically install all of them. So this could take a few minutes or moments as well. So now the installation has finished. Now we can run our software defined radio program. So we'll do that in a few moments. So we've installed GQRX and now we are ready to play with it. So first we will need to connect our RTL SDR and then we can go full screen. So we'll just do that. And let's just check that it has been connected. It has. You can see it here. So let's run GQRX. And that's fine. Yep. Click OK. And here it is. It's a bit more complicated than SDR Sharp, but it works. So just turn on the sound. Maybe just full sound. And we will go to 900 and 55. Make sure that the receive options are zero over here. We will select wide FM so we can better listen to the signal. We can also choose stereo, stereo but mono sounds better. Filter, normal. That's fine. That's fine. Input, we will need to increase the gain here or use hardware ATC. That's fine. Nope. That's fine. You can adjust this as well, but this should be sufficient. And over here, that's fine. Down here, we can select the how the resolution is for this window. 2048 is fine. 
this one will enable us to show the peaks, which is useful. So we'll just start the program now. And here is our first downstream channel. We may have to adjust the gain a bit. So now it's easier to see where the downstream channels are. So let's have a look if we can find some more. This looks like the channel hopping from before. And here you can see it as well. It's not so easy to see down here, but you can see when there are, where there are a lot of these small dots or peaks, that's an, an indicator that there may be some channel hopping. So that's how you use GQRX in Linux. It's very simple. Next, we will look at some more stuff. Stay tuned and subscribe.